All right, so today we're going to work on the scientific diagram, which when you're typing is usually just inserting a picture that we've taken in class or a diagram that I've provided for you for the experiment. So we're going to enter, delete, delete, enter, and we're going to make sure we're in caps lock and write scientific diagram. Now this isn't just a picture of how it should be set up, but a lot of times it's a picture showing us the model of what's actually occurring during the experiment. It shows us the process of what actually happened. Now with this we don't need to add any text. We are going to insert an image though. So I'm going to go to insert image. And a lot of times we're going to insert it from our Google Drive, but today I'm just inserting it from my computer and I am inserting it here and there we go. If you were to insert it from your Google Drive, you would go to Insert Image Drive and then click on the image that you needed. Okay? And then once you clicked it, you would just click Insert. And that's our scientific diagram. You could always, as well, try to draw a picture. So if I click Enter real quick just to get to the next line, if I go to Insert, drawing and new, I can actually create on the computer a picture. So here I want to show uh, the plastic cup. So I'm going to insert a shape and maybe I'm going to insert, um, I don't know what kind of, here a cylinder. I'll add a cylinder for the cup and I can always change the you know, pick the actual uh, color of the picture. And then maybe I want to add a text box and write the word graduated cup. And put that underneath the cup. Now it doesn't have lines, but if I specify that that's what I mean, it would be fine for me with a grade as your teacher. I need to draw a digital scale, so I'm going to draw um, or pick some sort of cube. I'm going to make a small, thin cube to be our digital scale. I'll do a dark gray for that. And now I want to put the cup on top of it. So what I'm going to do is click the cylinder, and if I do Control c and control V that has copied and pasted the image and I can place it right on top of the scale. So then I can do the same thing with my text box and now I can say digital scale with graduated cup. And then maybe I want to show the water inside of that. So I'm going to make another digital, I'm going to make another scale. I'm going to make another cup and scale. And now this time I'm going to add another shape. And we want something to show a plastic bag. Maybe I'll do this little cloud figure here. Or maybe that will represent my water and I'll put it towards the bottom. I'll make it red to show the red water. I can insert another shape to show the celery stalk. Hmm. Mm, cube really isn't the best shape. Let's find a different one. I'll do this weird trapezoid to just represent the celery. I'm going to make it green. Now it's obviously not the best picture, but if I include captions, so graduated, digital scale with graduated cup and celery stalk in bag, then I'm able to try to understand what was being done here um, in the picture. I could also try to draw another kind of cloud here. Um, to show the bag 
And instead of having, I'm going to put it as a transparent, but I'm going to make sure that the line is nice and dark. And now I kind of have my bag. Maybe I put a very light color. I can't do gray. It has to be transparent, unless I did that first. And then we see that the water is inside of the bag, and the celery is on top. I could always try to do this. Um, if I'm doing this, I also need to make sure I give it a title. So I'm going to click text box and create a title here. So this is plant transpiration diagram. And then I'm going to click save and close. And when I do that, it actually inserts it right into my document. And I can click the picture and make it centered. Enter twice. Make sure I'm back to my left align so I can continue with my next section.